Hey guys, it's Dustin. Uh, today I want to talk about split flap conditions. This can happen when you're either applying the flaps or coming into land. And uh, what happens is your flaps will go down, but only one goes down, the other one stays up. That causes a roll. Uh, if you find when you flip your flap switch and it goes into an uncontrolled roll situation, remember to put the last, go back to the last condition you were in. So I would switch back to flaps up. Uh, recently, this past weekend, I was flying the F-104 and had a similar thing happen, but it was, it was opposite. I was putting the flaps back up and one of them did not go back up, it stayed down. So I wanna show what happened here. You can see there's some damage to the skin. What happened was this skin got trapped and stopped the flap from going up. In fact, it cracked out some area here. So what I did to fix that was I bent this uh, wiper down some more and rounded the edge. But uh, what I was doing was uh, a low speed pass with full flaps deployed, uh, practicing for Top Gun. And uh, I got the airplane going a little too fast when I put the flaps back up. So that's what caused it. But what happened is the flap stopped right about here and the airplane started to roll on me. And uh, after panicking a little bit, <laughs> I, uh, I remembered that I had just flipped the flaps from uh, full flap up to no flaps. So I went back to about half flap and that really helped stabilize the situation. And I put the flaps back down and uh, the trim uh, resolved itself. The airplane stopped rolling and I landed it. But I uh, just wanted to go over this. It's a common, not a real common problem, but it does happen. Uh, linkage failure, servo failure. Um, sometimes you deploy your flaps when you're going too fast and uh, you get split flap condition. But as I learned the hard way, it can happen both applying the flaps and retracting the flaps. So if any time that you're adjusting your flaps, I recommend doing it where you're I'm not going to say close, you, you know, you don't want to be over the pits or anything, but uh, do it on your upwind where you can actually see the airplane and uh, notice any roll trim change. If uh, you do see uh, the airplane rolling and it feels like it's out of control, just remember to go back to the last position you were in uh, for the flaps. And um, hopefully this never happens again, but just be ready for it. Uh, just remember if you were in mid flaps going to no flaps and it starts rolling, just go back to mid flaps. Or if you're in full flaps, go back up to, and you go up to no flaps, go back to full flaps. If you're cruising around with flaps up and flying around and you want to slow down and you go to full flaps and the airplane rolls over, put them back up because uh, linkages can fail, servos can fail. So just a little uh, tip I wanted to go over and uh, Happy flying.